have already learnt what a sentence is. It is a group of words that makes complete sense by itself and does not depend on another word or group of words to do so. It has a subject and a predicate and we know that the predicate always contains the verb. Now today we will learn about different kinds of sentences based on their structure. So let us start. I threw the frisbee. Now this is a sentence and this sentence has a subject and a predicate. What is the subject? I is the subject and the predicate is through the frisbee. Now we know that the predicate contains the verb. So what is the verb here? So we have through as the verb here. Now this is a finite verb. So our sentence has a subject as well as a finite verb. Now we have already learned that a sentence is a group of words. So this is a group of words. And we also know that a group of words which has a subject and a verb and makes some sense is a clause. So I through the frisbee is a clause and this clause makes complete sense and can stand on its own. I through the frisbee. It is making complete sense on its own as a complete sentence. So this clause is an independent clause because it can stand on its own. Now when you have a sentence which is made up of one independent clause, it is known as a simple sentence. So a simple sentence is made up of one independent clause, one subject and one finite verb. So I through the frisbee is a simple sentence. And what are the characteristics of a simple sentence? It has one subject and one predicate. We have one subject here, I, and one predicate through the frisbee. It has one finite verb. A finite verb here is through. So there is one finite verb. It is made up of one independent clause. This complete group of words, I through the frisbee, is an independent clause because we have a subject in it, a verb in it, and it makes complete sense and can stand on its own. And it expresses a single idea, I through the frisbee. There is no other idea that is being expressed except the idea that I threw the frisbee. So it expresses a single idea. Now, if we have a sentence, I threw the frisbee and it hit Dave. Is this a simple sentence? Let us see. Now, this sentence is made up of two clauses. I threw the frisbee, it hit Dave. We have a coordinating conjunction and joining the two clauses. We have two subjects here, I and it, it is referring to the frisbee. We have two subjects here and we also have two verbs here, through and hit. So we know that this is not a simple sentence because it has one subject and one finite verb. In this sentence, we have two subjects, we have two finite verbs and we have a coordinating conjunction joining the two clauses. I threw the frisbee, it hit Dave. So, this sentence does not have one subject, does not have one finite verb. So, this is not a simple sentence. 
now let us look at this sentence. Sal and I went for a movie yesterday. Do you think this is a simple sentence? Let us see if it is or not. Now, let us first identify the verb in this sentence. What is the verb here? Went is the finite verb here. And to find the subject, we ask the question who before the finite verb. So, who went? Sal and I went. So, we know that Sal and I is the subject in this sentence and this is a compound subject because it is made up of a noun, Sal, and a pronoun, I, with a conjunction. Now, the rest of the sentence, went for a movie yesterday, is our predicate here. So, we have one subject, which is a compound subject. We have one predicate and we have one finite verb in the predicate, went. Now, this sentence is a group of words. So, it is also a clause. Sal and I went for a movie yesterday. So, this is a clause which has a subject, Sal and I. A verb went. So, this clause is also an independent clause because the entire clause can stand on its own. It is making complete sense. Sal and I went for a movie yesterday. So, this sentence has one independent clause, one subject and one verb. So, this sentence is a simple sentence. Now, let us look at this sentence. The food smells delicious. In this case, we have one subject, the food, we have one finite verb, smells, and we have the entire group of words as an independent clause which can stand on its own. So, this sentence, the food smells delicious, is made up of one independent clause. It has one subject and one finite verb. So, this sentence is also a simple sentence. My mother and I went to the market yesterday. In this sentence, we have a compound subject again. My mother and I. So, we have one subject, which is a compound subject. We have one finite verb, went, and the entire group of words, my mother and I went to the market yesterday, is an independent clause because it can stand on its own. So, this sentence is also a simple sentence. Now, can you identify the simple sentence? There are two sentences given to us. I looked for Mary and Sam at the station. I searched and found my lost wallet in the car. Now let us look at the second sentence first. I searched and found my lost wallet in the car. Let us first identify the verbs here. So we have two verbs here, searched, found. Now, we know that a simple sentence always has one finite verb, but we have two finite verbs here. So, this cannot be a simple sentence. Now, let us look at the first sentence. I looked for Mary and Sam at the station. What do we see here? We see that there is one finite verb, looked, and we have one subject here, I. So, this sentence I looked for Mary and Sam at the station is our simple sentence. The government has floated many schemes to attract tourists. Now, what do you think? Is this a simple sentence or not? Let us try to find out. To find out, let us first identify the verbs in it. What are the verbs in this sentence? Has floated and to attract. So, we have two verbs in this sentence, has floated and to attract. But, 
this sentence has only one finite verb has floated now to attract is not a finite verb it is an infinitive form of the verb so we have only one finite verb in this sentence has floated so what you have to see is that when you are given a sentence first find out the verbs in it then identify if the verb is a finite verb or not if your sentence has one finite verb one subject and one independent clause then that sentence like this one is a simple sentence now that you have learned about the simple sentence in detail let us try to do this exercise identify the simple sentence he has walked a long distance to search for food and the other sentence is he walked a long distance and then ran the last few miles now let us take the second sentence first he walked a long distance and then ran the last few miles let us first identify the verbs in the sentence so we have two verbs in this sentence walked and ran now both these verbs are finite verbs so this sentence is not a simple sentence we know that there should be only one finite verb in a simple sentence so let us look at the first sentence he has walked a long distance to search for food now this sentence also has two verbs let us first identify them has walked and to search now when there are two verbs in a sentence we have to identify whether they are finite verbs or not here in the two verbs we have only one finite verb has walked to search is the infinitive form it is not a finite verb so this sentence he has walked a long distance to search for food is the simple sentence here because it has one finite verb has walked one subject he and it is made up of one independent clause he has walked a long distance to search for food so what did we learn today we have learned that there are different kinds of sentences based on their structure simple sentence is a sentence in which there is one subject and one predicate and the predicate has to have one finite verb only a simple sentence is made up of one independent clause and it expresses a single idea only so today we have learnt about the simple sentence and we shall soon learn about the other kinds of sentences based on the structure i hope a simple sentence is absolutely clear to you now and if you are not then take up many exercises and identify whether a sentence is simple or not don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to get all learning resources as per icsc cbsc ib cambridge or any other curriculum over 5000 amazing lectures across maths science english and social science our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our i dictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions get instant answers and detailed solutions be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests performance analysis with actionable feedback personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts that's not all you can also win amazing prizes like playstation ipad watches and many more along with certificates through our earn as you learn program so learning at delta step is not just fun and easy it is also rewarding 
So register for free now.